Hello, hello, hello everybody. I'm Vincent from Tower Stake. So before starting, just excuse my English because I'm French. So I hope that everybody will be able to understand what I'm saying. And today I'm going to talk about the tooling we built from, uh, for, for the MENA community. So um, let's talk about uh, who we are. So at Tower Stake, we joined the MENA community in March 2021. It was just before mainnet launch. And when we discovered the project uh, with the lightweight blockchain and everybody that can be built around it, we were really thrilled. So we jumped in the community and starting to build tools to help uh, the validators and the delegators to, to enter the, the MENA. So uh, we are a team of two. We live in French Guiana. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, French Guiana is a small part of French, uh, France uh, located in South America. I'm the CEO of tech companies. I run a digital agency and a startup uh, dealing with APIs. And I'm the face for the MENA community for Tower Stake. And I'm also working with Transfer. He's the CTO and the developers, uh, the developer working on all the tools that I will be presenting later. We have uh, skills in system administ administration, network security, APIs, web development and marketing. And as a day job, we build MobAPI, which is an API platform designed to connect data sources to apps. So at Tower Stake, we build tools for the MENA community. And uh, we run also a blog producer, uh, which is well ranked in the leaderboard, and we'll see that later. And we want to raise awareness of the French entrepreneur and French MENA community for ZK proof and light blockchain technologies. So about the tools that we built, uh, I start with the Mina Time Machine, uh, which is actually the first, uh, the last uh, tool we built, uh, because a lot of people ask us on Discord, okay, in, in which epoch are we now? When does it start? When does it end? And so instead of giving always the same answer, we decided to build the tools because that's what we do. So um, the Mina Time Machine will help you to convert time to an epoch on Mina Protocol or the other way around. So you can see that on the web page, uh, you have detailed information about the current, previous, and next epoch. And you also have a list of uh, all um, epochs with some information li like ledger hash, which can be useful if you want to if you want to run queries, for instance. We also display the total supply in MENA for per epoch and the amount of blocks produced and the fee rate. All the tools I'm presenting today are available uh, on our website, which is towerstack.com. And some of, some of them uh, are available uh, in French also. After that, um, I will talk about the block producer rewards calculator, which is the first tool uh, we built. It was now, I think, three months ago. So this tool is designed to be used by people running a validator node. So if they want to calculate the expected returns from running a node, they can use it. It's pretty straightforward to use. Uh, you enter your stake um, in MENA, and you can also add the amount of um, MENA, MENA's delegated to you. And you set up your validator fee and you just hit the compute button and it will display per epoch how much you can earn uh, running your validator. You have also uh, a feature that uh, if you want to retrieve your total amount of delegated tokens, you just click on that button and you enter your public key and we will uh, we'll get the total of delegated token to you uh, automatically. We have also another tool, which is quite similar of the previous one, but that one is uh, intended to be used by delegators. So that means that most of you uh, people are listening to, to this conference are certainly you have in MENA and you heard that you can stake uh, MENAs to a block producer to gain rewards. So this tool will be will help you to know how much you can earn from delegating your MENA uh, to a validator node. So I will make a short uh, demo of that. It will be easier to understand. So it's really easy, easy to use. Let's say that you have 2,000 MENAs and want to delegate them. And um, so if you bought your MENAs after uh, on an exchange, 
That means that your wallet will be fully unlocked and that you are eligible to supercharge rewards. So I won't dive in, into it now, but after that, you enter your validator field, let's say 5%, which is most common now, and uh, which is a rate that we use at Towestake. You can choose your currency, let's stay with US dollar, and just hit the compute button, and you'll see a chart uh, with your rewards uh, per epoch. So you have a table, and uh, you'll see that when there is a, a green star, that means that for this epoch, you will have supercharged rewards. Um, they, we double the, the rewards that you that you have. And uh, so one epoch is is two weeks. So uh, each line is for two weeks. And you'll see that, for instance, for the first week, that you will earn around 27, um, me, 17 minutes. So after one year, uh, you can see with uh, when you start with 2,000 mina, uh, at the end of the year, you will have earned 386 minas. And you can also adjust the amount of epochs, epochs you want to, to run uh, your calculations. So let's say 100 epochs, that means that you want to calculate your rewards for four years. So just go to the bottom of the table. And you see that after four four years, you will have earned more than one thousand minas, and with a return on investment of more than fifty four percent, which is quite pretty pretty much for a proof of stake uh, protocol. So let's back to the presentation and let's have a look at the last tool we built, uh, which is called Better Mina Uptime Leaderboard. So. This tool is designed to be used by block producers that entered the delegation program. So the delegation program is a program uh, designed by the MINA Foundation. And now we have, to, as a block producer, we have to run a, a tool called Sidecar to push uh, a time score. And uh, the top 120 block producers have a chance to get a delegation from the MINA Foundation. So knowing your ranking, it's really important when you are looking to get this delegation, this grant. And so when we started to run our block producer, it was, I think it was three months ago now, uh, as everybody, we used the official uptime leaderboard, but it lacked a lot of features. So basically on the official leaderboard, you just have your ranking, you have the address of the node, you have the uptime score, and that's all. So you can search, uh, you have to know your address, and uh, by heart because there is no names of lot producers and it's pretty much a pain in the ass to be to use. So we decided to build a new tool around this and we called it the, a better Mina time leaderboard. So we scrap the official leaderboard every minute and we store the results. That means that now we have an archive about what's going on with a time scores. And we can make some calculations to display more advanced stats to block producers. So let's have a look um, in real time. Okay, so you have on the top of the table, you have uh, some KPIs. Uh, we can see that uh, more than 500 validators enrolled the delegation program. That's more than half of the total of the block producers. And we also can see that uh, almost all validators uh, who got the delegation from the MINA Foundation enrolled the, dele the delegation program. You can also see that there will be a, a new delegation round for the delegations in 26 days. And so we have now the leaderboard with more stats. So you can filter and search uh, block producers. Let's say that you want to see how our block producer at Toa Stake is doing. So you just have to enter the, the name of the node. Um, and you can see that we are ranked 88. Uh, with more stats like the score evolution uh, within the last day and within the last week, and also how uh, our ranking evolved within the last day and within the last week. We also have a chart here, so you have to remove the featuring. And this chart here is not really useful for the top block producers because uh, the ranking is pretty stable. But if you go to the second page, okay, let's go to the second page here. Uh, you can see some trends. You can see that some of the block producers um, have, are, are going up in the ranking, and some of them are going down. So 
Uh, as a blog producer, if you want to monitor uh, and to check how well you are doing uh, to go to, to reach to the 120, uh, the top of the blog producers. So um, these numbers will be really helpful to, to know if you performed well during the day. And uh, you can also filter uh, to see which one are the new validators that enrolled the, the delegation, uh, <coughs> the Minap Foundation delegation program within the last week. Uh, we, you can also filter to see only the ones that go, already got a delegation from the Minap Foundation or the one who got uh, a GFM grant. But that's not all. We are building a new version of this better time leaderboard. So this we, it will be a better, better time leaderboard. Uh, it's being currently uh, developed. A new version will be released in one or two weeks. And what you'll get is more data. Uh, we will display taking stats, snarking stats and block producing stats. And what's cool is that, it's that we, you'll be uh, able to display uh, what you can, it's equal, rather easy to see for a block producer how many uh, stakes they have. But you know that you have to wait for two epochs, two epochs for when you make a delegation to see if a block producer has uh, how many they have, how many staking they have. So you will see in our new version uh, how is the current staking, but also what will be the staking in two epochs from now. Uh, you also be able to customize your leaderboard columns. I don't know if some of you are using um, Coin Market Cap, so you can customize the columns, and we do the same. We have the same approach, and uh, so we be able, you will be able to say, okay, I just want to be the ranking and the stacking information, and uh, so really soon, in one or two weeks, we'll, you'll be able to to select the columns you want to display in, in our table. We are also working on the performances of the leaderboard because right now it's quite slow to display. Uh, maybe you noticed that it takes something around five seconds to be displayed. So we are rewriting the table rendering uh, so it will be much faster to display. And we hope that we also be able to stop scrapping the data from the official leaderboard, getting all data from an API through Mila Foundation. Uh, something is is also coming during this summer. Uh, we are currently building tools uh, to calculate uh, Mina Foundation payouts. So really soon in the, this table, uh, you'll see for the block producers who got a delegation from the Mina Foundation, if they paid their payouts in full and in time. So I think it will be a great addition to this leaderboard. And after that, we will release all the data we have uh, through REST API. So uh, to sum up, we have a new version of the leaderboard coming in the following weeks with customized, uh, customized columns and more data. And after that, during the summer, we'll also modify the leaderboard to add the new delegation policy scoring mechanism that was announced yesterday around the snarking, the snarking mechanism. And so we will release a full, a full REST API uh, by September, I think. And we have also more tooling being built right now. I don't want to dive into, the, into it, but that will be used by uh, validators and delegators to know better what's going on with the stakes. So if you want to ask me questions, maybe the other way would be to reach us uh, on Discord. So you can go on the official Mina Discord and search for Vince at Toa Stake. Uh, don't worry, my English is much better in uh, writing that in, uh, when I speak. And we have also a uh, Discord uh, for Tower Stake. You just have to go to this link, and I'd be happy to answer to your question directly. So thank you very much for your attention, and uh, feel free to ask me questions in Discord. Thank you.